that thing. You can put the, you know, you just pour it. Well, it keeps it warm the whole time. Then you. Thermos. There you go. They're not thermostat. What? You know what I was trying to say. <laughs> thermos. And a thermos. I would just pour it. Thermostat. <laughs> you know what I was trying to say. All right. I'm Jay Fain, former U.S. Army Infantry, currently a Goodwill Ambassador for Black Rifle Coffee Company, and I help manage uh, some social media content for the new BRCC fund, the BRCC Gives account, to be exact. And this is 11 questions and a cup of coffee. How I make my coffee is I like to do the pour over style with a Chemex. Um, and the reason why I like to is because I just feel like that is the best way you get the full flavor of the actual coffee you're drinking. And I love it and it just gives me the greatest kick in the morning when I need it. I take my coffee black, always. I never mix it with anything, I just go straight for the hit. I don't want sugar or cream, I just want that blackness in my mouth. <laughs> I'd say that, okay. <laughs> so the most bizarre or extreme place I've probably had or made or whatever with coffee was when I was deployed to Iraq. I would make it and I'd pour it in a thermos, bring it with me while we're out on patrol and then I didn't care if it was like 100 plus degrees outside, I still drank it. Not while I was like walking, but if we ever got back to the vehicles, I would just pour it and drink it. People would try to steal my stuff and I wouldn't let them. Hardest thing I've done physically, I'll, I guess I'll go back to like, I've done a lot of like physical hardships and whatever throughout my life, especially like when I was in the military, but like I guess after I got hurt, you know, physically trying to get back to normal again, which whatever that means. And my normal is like putting on a prosthetic and walking every day. So that was the hardest thing physically I had to learn over the years. And then mentally was getting over that and being normal before I was in that crazy war mindset. So mentally getting back to that some kind of normality so I can like live a regular life, I guess. Been asked this plenty of times and it's usually pretty much the same answer over the years. It's like, like especially when people would ask like what like how you're so positive or how do you like you know live your life with all the stuff you've been through before I was like well like yeah it sucked that happens to me but one I'm alive and two like you know I had friends and stuff that didn't make it so I really think about them a lot and whenever I'm down on myself I uh I was like, man, I know my boys and stuff that didn't make it would want me to live like a happy, fun, fulfilling life. So that's really the main reason why I do what I do every day when I wake up. It's like, they can't enjoy the life, obviously, because they paid the ultimate sacrifice, but I'm still alive, so I can live a fulfilled life for them. And for me, too, but really for them. Most misunderstood about me and the work that I do I mean, I guess I have like multiple different like jobs or stuff that I do. I guess the, the misunderstood part, I guess the, <clears throat> especially when I was contracting, people didn't realize like the capabilities or what I learned and like how I got there because it doesn't translate to what I learned when I was in the military. So people don't understand that. I won't go into too much detail of that stuff. And then like now, like what I'm doing with Black Rifle, People like I, you know, I've like kind of entren entrenched myself with the company more recently and trying to take on like more of a serious role than just like, <clears throat> you know, what everyone sees on social media. And all my friends are like, man, like, it looks like you're just having fun, having a good time. I was like, yeah, but there's actually a lot of other stuff that goes on, man, that I'm really like more, more like focused on because I truly believe in what I'm trying to do for the company. And you guys just think I'm just like coming to party and hang out. And that's not the case. Like I actually want to try to do good for what the company has put me to be responsible for. A lot of people don't think that. <clears throat> I mean, personally, success, 
Like we all know like, oh yeah, make money, pay your bills and all that stuff. But whatever truly makes you happy is like, what well, my thing is like, yeah, I've had work and jobs where I was making like a decent amount of money and all that, but I wasn't truly happy doing it. Um, so whatever like keeps you in a positive mindset and makes you happy every day, whether that's like, you know, picking up trash every day or freaking whatever. You know, if you're just happy doing it, that's success. It matters what I'm doing. Like, I like the ocean view if I'm gonna go scuba diving, because I like to scuba dive. But I like the mountain view if I'm like on my motorcycle riding in the mountains, and I just want like peace and quiet away from people. So I can't really choose one or the other. It just matters what what the situation is. There's a gun to your unborn child's head. <laughs> choose not. <laughs> mountain view. I would love to have teleportation because one, I hate like traveling to places I want to get to. I'd rather just boom, be there, not even think about it. Yeah, yeah exactly. I'm very slow in my movements. <laughs> I don't want to be around too many people. I don't want to stand in lines. I just want to boom, get to where I need to go, and that's it. And then if I want to like go back home, I don't have to like stay there. I can just stay home. And go right back. I like to make things like if it's if I can develop something or make something easier, you know, whether that be a small or large task. Or if it, if I can develop like a a system or something or get something built to make that task whatever that is easier, I like to try to think of those ideas or try to get those ideas to happen because like why not? You know, it just makes things easier on everyone else. I mean, if, it, if I was on my own, what? <laughs> I ain't going no, it matters what's chasing me or if it's like, you know, fissures opening up in the ground, volcanoes are coming and like I'm with you guys, like, all right, you guys go, don't even worry about me, I'm just gonna sacrifice myself. <laughs> or if we're being chased by zombies, I'll slow them down, you know, because you guys are the able-bodied ones. It matters who I'm around, I guess. If it was like just me, I'm like, oh. I'm not running anywhere. <laughs> if something's happening, I'm like, this is it. I love you. 